Hey guys, Neil here with another screencast. So today I'm going to be covering something that's a little bit more on the fun, uh, quirky, oddball uh, side of things. So um, recently Google, um, or at least this week, Google updated their logo and has been updating all sorts of things with, on the back end for their apps and services and all that stuff in addition to their logo. And so it came to light that this week, um, an interesting new feature is now available as part of Google Search. So what you'll do is you'll open up your browser of choice, whether it's Chrome, Firefox, Safari, any, basically any way that you can get to uh, Google Search. Um, from there, you're gonna do this feature um, one of two ways. Um, basically, both takes you to the same place as far as getting a random fact. So the first way is you'll type in fun facts. So um, as you can see, Adri did a search before. So fun facts will bring up a very random uh, f fact. So in this case, the first this it, or on this search, it came up with who is John Dalton. It'll give you a bunch of information and a link to the, where the information is coming from so you can get more information. Or if you're not sure if it sounds right and just want uh, more information, you can do that. You'll also see a nifty little button that says ask another question, which acts kind of like a randomizer. So um, you'll get another bit of fun fact. You see is octopus plural and you get that information as well. Um, and then you'll see also now that um, the result search box up here has changed to I'm feeling curious, which is actually the other way of getting the same information. So I'll start over, I'll close that window and I'll start typing in I'm um, feeling curious. And you see that I already did this search as well, so I'll select that. And you get a brand new search um, fact, or a fact result in your search. So where did the original uh, Little Mermaid come out? And you get that information as well. And same thing, you get the ask another question button. So um, pretty nifty little thing there. Um, I actually haven't tested it, but I can do that right now. I'll, I have Firefox installed as well. So I'll do a search for fun facts and um, I guess not so much or well we get fun so I may, it may be a Chrome thing as well I assume that it was a uh, Google thing but let's try this google.com uh, com and we'll open it up do a we'll try doing it the Google search way so um feeling curious and let's do a search that way see what we get so it might be a chrome thing but in any case um if you're a google now user then it works in google now as well so i'll open up uh fun facts in google now and you get the same result there so i'll say for now i'll limit or limit myself and say it's more of a chrome and google thing so if you use google now or Chrome to do your searches, you can look this up. I did try check it earlier, voice searching is, does, works as well, so if you open up um, OK Google, or open up your search for with via OK Google, and then do uh, fun facts, or I'm feeling curious, you'll get the same results, so it's pretty nifty, and it actually will read back a bit of the uh, result back to you, so if you're on the go and want a random fact, or just want a bit of conversation, then that is uh, an option as well, so, uh, pretty cool um, search there. I assume it's also or it's more of a uh, result that works on the latest version of Google search. So um, definitely get the latest version uh, just to be on the safe side. It's regardless if you're if you're using the Google Now or Google Search app or Chrome, and go from there. Definitely check it out. But that is all for this uh, screencast. So if you have any questions, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or email or, or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that's all for this screencast. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.